Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn about the Morgan, what exactly it is and how we are going to use in our code. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So it is a HTTP request logger middleware for the Node.js, right? The first and the most important point. Let's take an example. I am just going to for the different different routes like get route, post route or various routes. So how we are going to log it like first that that route is hit after that that route is hit. So to get the records of that one Morgan can be used over here. HTTP request logger middleware for the Node.js. So how it gonna be used? First you need to add var Morgan require Morgan right. So I'm going to install this package first. So here we go with the installing the package. Okay, I have installed the package, right? After installing the package, here you can see that uh, express express is also missing. So let me add the express also. So here we have multiple times. No, there is only one time. So let me add the express in my express. Okay, okay. After this, we are just using the combined app dot use Morgan combined. So what exactly the combined? Right. What are the various options that can be used? So I'm going to explain step by step. First one is the Morgan tiny using the format stick of the predefined tokens. If you use the custom, then you can use the custom. Here we have the next another one that is called the dev. So currently you can see that I am just using the combined version. You can use the dev part also concise output colored by response status. What the response state colored output. If you want the colored output, then you have to mention out the dev then shorter if you want the shorter than the default then you can use the short and if you want the tiny minimum uh, writing down the code then you can use the tiny one so i'm going to use here the dev part let's try step by step how it it gonna be work so let me go for the node index.js so you can see that sample app listening to the http localhost if I just uh, hit the route like here, let me uh, uh, hit the route localhost. I guess it's 300, 3000. Okay, 3000 localhost. And if I say it says hello world, so you can see that FFF this whole uh, get HTTP request Mozilla, it hits right. If I go and check the same one in the fire, uh, Chrome browser. Let's see what exactly it's happening. So let me uh, go and check the Chrome browser. So here I'm adding the Chrome browser here, localhost. Now you can see that the Chrome. Here you can see that the, it defines the full fledged if I'm just using the combine, right? And if I go and change the various things over here, like it's combined, currently I'm going to add the dev. Let's see what exactly it's gonna be. Control C, node index.js. Let's reload this. Reloading. Simple. Get request. This one. And if I you going to uh, use the another one that is to um, which one? Dev part is done. Dev, tiny short and the common. These are the things that we can use. So it's better we can use the combined which we get the log of each and everything from which browser, which request it's going to be, which Linux operating system it is. Okay. So each and everything you can see that it's mentioning over here. So you can use this in your project and it's very, very easy to track each and everything. You know, like where the request comes, which request it sets. Okay. So it defines, right? The request log, whatever request you are getting on log, into the console, whatever where you want to log, it's kind of the middleware for the node shares. And you can see that it has a much downloads of that. You can see the weekly downloads. So it is too popular. So you can use this package into your node, uh, node chess project. If you feel that this is a good one, then please write me to me in a comment section that it's a good package for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.